Yes, what is up? So, as you all know, guys, as for me, I sometimes look at prophecies that are given by different people, different men of God. So, today we are looking at a prophecy that was given by a man of God, Pastor Ian Lovu. Uh, this man of God, he gives prophecies. And when he gives prophecies, his prophecies will always come to pass, whether you like it or you don't like it. And there was a time I remember when I was saying, you can argue with the prophet, you can argue with the source of the prophecy, you can argue with whatever he is saying, but you cannot argue with the fact that what he says comes to pass. So uh, right now we are looking at a prophecy that he gave recently. But there is something that he actually said a few days ago, especially uh, it was on the first of uh, on the thirty first of December, uh, the New Year's Eve. He gave that prophecy, and when he gave that prophecy, it has already been uh, fulfilled. It has already been fulfilled. So uh, he is actually giving us an update, and he is saying, uh, "I still stand by those words, and more is coming." Let's look at what he's saying. Uh, towards New Year, I spoke a message about the United States of America. I said that the divisions in the United States of America will encourage both domestic and internal terrorism. Uh, I still stand by the message uh, which I spoke. Uh, I still stand by the message which I spoke. So he's is still standing by the message. Uh, and he is talking about the divisions that are in the U.S. And the divisions that are in the U.S., uh, they are, you know, about Joe Biden and Donald Trump. Uh, yes, I know some people will be just saying, ah, he was defeated. So why is that he is he's, he's not accepting defeat and all those things? Yes, you can say all those things. But you need to understand something. There was a big number of people who actually voted for Donald Trump. And there was also a big number. It was actually a race. You know, it was a race and the race was quite, it was not obvious. You know, it was not obvious. Uh, that means there are quite a number of people who actually voted for Trump and who still want Donald Trump. So he's talking about the divisions that are happening in the U.S. where we are seeing people who are saying it's supposed to be Donald Trump and some are saying it's supposed to be Joe Biden. So this is what he's talking about. Regardless of who you support or who you think is the right one, uh, he is just giving us an update on what might happen or some of the consequences of those divisions. We must pray for the governmental systems of the United States of America to, to continue to foster peace and unity within the United States of America because uh, if a certain segment of their population is left behind, there will be these flashpoints of social unrest which will make it difficult for that country to go forward. So this is what I've been seeing in the vision whenever I'm praying. The Spirit of God is saying uh, we must pray for unity. Uh, the message that I spoke on, at, on New Year, which we published during the crossover night, it was quickly fulfilled on the on the sixth of January, when uh, some people stormed the the Capitol building. Where is he now? This is one of the prophecies that he gave on the 31st of December, the New Year's Eve. And when he gave that prophecy on the 6th of, this, of January, it was fulfilled. So, like I said, you can argue with whatever he is saying, or you can argue with anything, but you cannot argue with the results. <laughs> there are parliament normally congregates to transact the, businesses or the business of the state. And uh, the Spirit of God was telling me that uh, that's not the last of the incident. That's not the last of the incident. That's not the last. Which shows the consequences of divisions in that nation. So the powers not to be those who 
of court authority of rulership they will need a lot of intercessors to stand for that nation the, the spirit of god was telling me to encourage christians evangelical christians who may not be happy with the outcome of the elections and the uh, those who are going to take over you see now you know this whole issue of B- biden and uh, donald trump uh, he's talking about the evangelical christians because in america most people most people including pastors prophets even african prophets most of them were saying it's going to be donald trump donald trump has been given you know the the the, the chance he has been given the grace to go on for the second term and all kinds of things. He's the one who has been chosen by God. He's the one who is going to be doing this and all kinds of things. There are so many things that were said by uh, Christians, but it didn't happen the way they wanted. So some of them are still in denial. They are still saying, no, it's supposed to be Donald Trump. It's not supposed to be uh, Biden. So I actually saw a certain man of God who is in the States who actually gave a like a very big apology where he was apologizing, saying, I prophesied and I said, God told me that it's supposed to be, it's Donald Trump, but it's not, you know, it didn't happen the way he prophesied. So these are some of the things that he's probably talking about, where he's saying, uh, in other words, he's saying Christians, uh, they might need to just accept what happened and keep on praying for peace in the United States of America. Uh, In a few days' time, Remember the the world in which you are living is not the kingdom of God. So we as Christians, let us not be entangled in the affairs of this life. The Bible says there is no soldier who being a soldier becomes entangled in civilian affairs. <laughs> hey, yeah. Can you hear that? Can you hear that? You know, some, some people are so concerned about this whole issue and even personally as an individual i've been hearing quite a number of you know conspiracy theories about uh all these things uh so i was actually a little bit worried uh like why is it that it had to be this way uh like most people were saying it's supposed to be this way but it didn't happen that way i was actually asking myself so what really happened what is happening why is this happening so he's now telling us that, you know, this is not our kingdom. This is the kingdom of, you know, of this earth, you know. As for us, as people who believe in God, our own kingdom uh, is not this one. So we're not supposed to be entangled. We should not be, you know, getting so much involved in some of these things and, and trying to, to make sure that we do some changes to some of these things. Look at what he's saying now. He's saying, we just need to know and understand that. What that language simply means is that the affairs of this life, they must not entangle us. We must not have so much of a vested interest in what is going on in this dying world. Hmm. But we must pray for peace. Because uh, in the United States of America, those divisions they will have a cost they will have a cost on the stability of the nation state and the ability of the united states of america to go forward so and uh, i saw a a certain superpower not that i do not know the superpower i know the superpower because of this internal division I saw a certain superpower in another country in Asia, which is not a superpower, but which is a trouble-making country. (laughs) I can just call it a trouble-making country. I think you now know the trouble-making country in Asia, which is not a superpower, but a trouble-making country. (laughs) Shake the United States of America this year. Not once, not twice, but several times. You hear that? He said, not once, not twice, but several times. This is also another prophecy. These are countries which President Donald Trump has been able to contain. 
through diplomacy and the, through the prayers of the intercessors that yet allowed to access him in the White House. But uh, I saw that the peace that the President Donald Trump, for all his faults, was able to foster, it may be seriously undermined. So we are not only talking of consequences of internal divisions, but we are also talking of consequences of, of, of the stabilization of peace from outside. The activities of uh, uh, this country in Asia, I don't know whether it's a European country or it's an Asian country, it's both. It is going to shake the United States of America. It will shake the new rulers. They will be shaken. And uh, also this North Korea. This North Korea will do a lot. <laughs> so he was just saying a, a trouble making country, but this time he has actually gone straight and then he named the country North Korea. So the other one, he didn't really say the name of the country, but he is probably talking about, I don't know, you know the country. <laughs> Out of provocation and let's intercessors pray. I see a lot of provocation. Uh, for all his faults, President Donald Trump had tried to, to limit the, the kind of provocations that North Korea can do in Southeast Asia, uh, which may destabilize world peace. But those who will come, they may not have the grace that uh, that was given to this man. The Can you see now the, the fight that some of the Christians are trying to fight? They are saying, like what he is saying now, he is saying uh, they may not have the grace, like the grace that he had uh, Donald Trump. So he's talking about Joe Biden. And now, uh, I think that's why some Christians are also trying to make sure that uh, they keep on fighting and keep on saying all sorts of things against Joe Biden because they believe that he might not be having the grace to make sure that there is peace. They may not have the grace that was given to this man. And uh, uh, Okay, so... The other messages, I'm going to speak to them as we move. Okay, so this, this, this is the prophecy that he gave. Uh, I was supposed to do a certain another video where I was talking about the fulfillment of the prophecy that he gave, but this time he talked about it in the prophecy that he's giving. So the prophecy that he gave when he talked about, uh, you know, the destabilization or, or the social unrest in the U.S., it happened and according to what he's saying it's not just going to be like ah that was then only it's going to continue if people do not pray for peace and also especially the christians in america if they don't do something about uh, trying to make sure that they understand or maybe accept the fact that donald trump is not going to continue being the president of the u.s even though they say god told them that it's going to be like that so i'd like to hear what you guys think about this one do you think it was supposed to be uh donald trump or you think it's supposed to be joe biden or you think whatever it is <laughs> let me know what you think and as usual i'll see you in the next video